The next item we're going to tackle is the navigation menu. So to begin, we'll go to the content pane and we're going to add a div container into the page. So drag and drop it right onto the canvas. And then to the right, select the styles pane. We're gonna go ahead and add a class of nav wrapper. Then we're going back to the content pane and select a text link element. Drag and drop that right into the container. And then, yep, right back to the styles pane to add our class to it. In this case, I'm going to put the class name nav button. With the class name in place, scroll down to the layout section and we're going to set the display as block. To give it a little extra space, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it 10 pixels top and bottom padding. After that, we're ready to style. So go up a little bit back to the design section and then we can set our typography. So go ahead and select the font and I'm going to increase the size just a little bit using the up and down. Going to align that text center and set a background color. Clicking the little square will open up your color controls. I'm just going to go ahead and type in my color, since I already know what it is, and press OK. And to change that blue text link color, I'm going to go back up to the typography section. And I'm going to go ahead and make it white just by grabbing the little dot and moving it on my triangle. Lastly, all we need to do is change the text. So if you um, triple click, then you can highlight it and change the text. In this case, we'll put home. Now to add our next button, go back to the content pane and add another text link element. And from the styles, give it the same class name of nav button. Boom, it will give you the exact same styles that we applied previously. So all we need to do is triple click and change the words. Another method of duplicating is to select the item and on the styles pane, click the duplicate icon at the top. It'll add another one in where we can then just change the text. Now we've got all three navigation buttons. To add a little bit of separation, we're gonna go to the styles pane and under the border, select the bottom border line and let's go ahead and give it a solid line, probably one pixel, and gonna give it a dark gray color. And change that alpha value to make it a little transparent. Now if we preview, we can see three distinct navigation buttons. Now to add a little pizzazz, let's give it some hover. This way when somebody hovers over the button, it lights up. So under the apply styles section, in state, change to hover. Now anything we apply here will only display when the person is hovering over the button. 
So in this case, let's just change the background color. And I'm going to give it just a, a black. Okay, now let's give that a try with the preview. And sure enough, they all have a hover effect. Last thing I'm going to show you here is how to apply the actual link you want. So if you go to the third control pane, the element pane, you'll see the tree of all of your items. You can select any one from the list. And down below will be the uh, properties for that specific element. So for the link, you'll enter it into the href box. And there we go, our menu is done.